Hi. We are in uh, Germany, in the city of Munich. This is my Scania. And you can see it's a 580S. So let's get inside it and get started. Nice truck. Just repaired, so there's no need for that now. Let me go to pick up my load here. Only a four minute drive. That should be just around the corner. Maybe we should take it easy. <coughs> This part of Germany, or a great part of Germany actually, has been redone, so freshed up the st street and the buildings and almost everything. It has been quite nice, because it used to be a lot of those old-fashioned SES roads and uh, at least crossings or intersections. A lot of them had 50% of the lane capacity was exit only. And that's of course you can't find those kind of crossings in the real world. So thanks God I've done something with it. And also need to do something with the same type of roads in the part called Going East DLC. I suppose that will be done in the future somewhere. So we are going to turn right over here. Let's change lane. That's the one that we are going to hold to Nuremberg. No, it was another one. Or maybe it's just only popped up, as I quite often do. So then we are ready to go. And, uh, just have a look here. As you can see, my company is growing. I have five trucks now. So let's have a look at the garage manager. No. Vienna. That's of course my truck, but this uh, that kind of truck, the Scania also, is for the employees. Uh, as you can see, I have a high roof, I have a low roof. And the reason for that, of course, is that if you have a look here, my configuration, you can see that my truck, as I have configured it, cost 312,000 euro and the drivers or the employees trucks is 155. So every employee will have a truck of this type. As you can see it's a Scania R 450 horsepower. I'm planning to update it to a Scania S with a V8 engine of 
520. We will look here at the configuration to improve it. Will be this one, and that will cost. As you can see, then the price for the track will be 161. So I think I will do that in the future to help the <coughs> employees to have a better truck. But let's go on, continue with our work to go to Nürnberg. Now it's over there. Of course, I would also like to upgrade my truck to the, the one that I like best, uh, 770S. But of course, they depend on the capital. How much money do you have? Time being is on 88. So the next step now will be to buy a new garage. Cost 180, so I have made, made a bit, so I have some money for fuel and the trip. And then we could go on driving and expanding the company. Spring environment mode. I like the coloring. Maybe we should change lane, but wait a bit. This fire truck and the whole it's a truck coming up there. But we drive directly into the lane. is a MAN to name ends with uh, TG it's also a very nice dashboard the instrument panel is quite good and with the uh, Captain Capitan 
sound mode, uh, it's very, very nice. I prefer to drive trucks that have a uh, Going here, here. No, we could. Oh, could take it the other one. As you see, the the road structure has improved a lot. The updates that the SES has made to Germany. Are we able to do it? Yes. We are far south in Germany, close to the Alps. As you can see, there are some mountainous areas. Well, we saw a bit of it. <laughs> in Bavaria, or Bayern, as it's called in German. And in, in Norwegian. So, it's only one hour approximately one hour to go. Suitable long trip. Let's see at the side we are going to Nuremberg, so it means that we uh, must stay here. Yes, it's a Swedish transport company. Berge is a common given name for Swedish boys. Or maybe I'm not sure if it's in that anymore. It used to be. So I suppose that Berge, who owns the company, is a bit... He's not a kid anymore, I should say. And as I stated in a previous video, I have disabled the ACC using only cruise control and then do the, ice, the adaptive part myself just by releasing the cruise control like I did now and slowly reduces the speed not braking as the ACC do care of the goods that we are transporting so we must be driving carefully and now we are going to turn right so we must get in behind that small car Ausfahrt Left. <laughs> 
there. Yes. What do we have here? Of course, it's a German license plate. That's part of the SAS scheme. <coughs> when you are driving in a country, all vehicles in your meeting has the license license plate from that country. Uh, you, know, you don't get any information looking at the trailer because I use a mod. Jessica, mod for trailers and traffic and so on. So then the trailer doesn't really fit with the, the countries. What kind of trailer do we have now? TB Europe International. for where to park the trailer to the right here behind the yellow cursor trailer so let's see how we are able to do it let's have a look here there it is said before the mistake we normally do when we are backing up is that we are doing it too fast I have learned it the hard way I must say I have much more control when you are doing it slowly in a walking speed so almost there This would be good enough, yes, it is. Then the T. And by that, I uh, want to thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I would also appreciate very much if you subscribe to my channel and also if you made some comments. Thanks for now and goodbye. <laughs>